Alright guys, even though I said there are probably not gonna be any more updates for this combat system, I actually added controller support because it wasn't that difficult, but yeah. If I <clears throat> do another tutorial, I would probably probably add um, a lock-on feature because this would be really important for controller, but I... Not gonna lie, I don't really know how to make a lock-on feature, but yeah. Yeah, this controller support, I'm actually just connected my controller. Uh, I think it currently though just works for Xbox controllers, so not PS5 or anything like that. But yeah, I've added um, controller support, at least for Xbox controllers. Uh, you can change the controls how you want, or at least uh, the combat mechanics. I have no idea how to change the controls that are already built in, but yeah. Everything should actually work. I'm just, I can just show you the code in a bit um, where you can, you know, uh, change the keybinds, but yeah. Uh, everything should work like that. So, uh, if you look into our comment client and scroll down, you can see this. Um, it's basically the same as the mobile code, but yeah, with different keybinds. The if you press the X button on the on your controller, then you're gonna do the well, the weapon swing. If you are pressing the Y button, you're gonna be doing the feint. And if you are pressing the R2 button, which is the big uh, button, the big right button. I also have um, yeah this picture here. Here you can see the controls. So uh, this button, this big right button is R2. This is gonna do the heavy attack. Then for the blocking, I put it on the B button. For the dash, I put it on the L oh, on the L2 button. So the big left button. And I put sprinting on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I put sprinting on L3, which is pressing the left button. Yeah, which is pressing the left joystick button. Yeah, this was pretty much how to add controller support. And yeah, you can get the model on my Discord. Yeah, this was everything. Have a great day.